Hola mis amores and welcome back. So today's video is going to be my IMAT haul as you can tell from the title. Um, so I did go to IMAT in New York City, that's where I am from. And I did get a couple of things. I didn't go bananas like I wished I did but I got a couple of things. The most money that I spent was at Morphe Brushes and you guys are going to see what I got there. I did get a couple of things that I needed instead of spending my money on crazy things like I you know, things that I didn't need. So I was very cautious with my money um, at IMATS. So I got a couple of things that I did need. Um, well, everything that I got was the things that I needed or like want. Well, not needed, I wanted personally. Um, but most of my money did go to more professions, like I said. If you guys want to see everything that I got at IMATS, and just keep on watching. To just, everything's in this bag, but there's like, you know, other bags in here and stuff. So the first place that I did go to was, um, benefit because I did go straight to the Morphe line and while Babe was waiting on the Morphe line I walked right over to benefit and I got um, a brow pencil so I did get the um, precisely my brow pencil from benefit cosmetics and I think originally originally this cost like 24 25 bucks around there but I did pay like 13 14 bucks don't quite remember but I know it was around that price range so I was really excited about that and I really wanted the Anastasia Benville Brow Wiz but instead I just got this one and I kind of want to try this one out a little bit more I hate I feel like every time I record that happens go away like why 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 Anyway, so I did get this brow pencil and I'm pretty pretty excited and I got this in the shade number five. Twelve, no, five. I'm gonna open it. Cause it just has five on it. it doesn't say the brow color. Ugh. I do really really like the packaging and when they came out with this I was like, whoa, that's different. Yeah, I think this is five, ultra fine brow pencil. It doesn't say the color on it like the Anastasia brown definer does, but oh, the tip is very fine. It's very precise. Wow, it does say that on the on the box. But that's basically the color that I got. A little bit dark, not too dark, but I'm very very excited to try this out since I only used the only brow pencil I think I've ever used is the one from NYX and um, the brow to find from Anastasia so I've never really tried like a high-end brow pencil so I'm very very excited about this so that was basically the only thing that I got at Benefit I did go to a lot of stores where I just got like one thing the only place that I didn't get just one thing was Morphe brushes because I went ballistic um, but yeah so the next place that I went to was Tarte and I was looking for, I've been wanting to try out the Shape Tape Concealer for a really, really long time. And so that's exactly what I went there for, especially because I saw the price and it was like $15 when this retails for like $25, not sure. Um, there was something else in there. Um, so I went and got that. Um, and I went and got the shade Light Sand. I think this is a shade a little too light for me, but it's not like I can't mix with other concealers and stuff like that. Um, and the reason why I got it a little... This packaging is way bigger than I expected it to be. Whoa. Um, how much does this even have inside? Doesn't say. Oh, there are point three fluid ounces. Anyways, um, the reason why is because the one I wanted was sold out. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think I can just mix this with any other concealers that I have and I'll be pretty fine. So, that was the second thing that I got at Tarte. The next thing that I got was, I was walking by when Mabel was still waiting on the Morphe line. <laughs> um, on the Morphe brushes line. I saw Ricky's. And they had a lot of um, House of Lashes lashes on there. And so I was like, ooh, let's go in and get one. Um, instead of getting one, I got three. So I got two of the same ones. I got two of the Smoky Muse. And I think these are very nice. I'm more of a, like, Demi Wissies Ardell kind of eyelashes. So these kind of ooh, look like them. And I was really, really excited when I saw them. I thought they were really, really pretty. And I can't wait to try these. And the other one that I got was more like a dramatic one. And I also can't wait to try these. These are the, the North... 
<laughs> the Neuer N O I R Fairy Light. I completely butchered that, but yeah. So I'm really, really excited to try out those lashes. Those are, those are the only three that I got. Um, and I think they resell for a much more expensive price than that. I think I got them for like six bucks. But they're pretty good. The next place that I went to was the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know about you, but I like this packaging. Um, it just looks so pretty, doesn't it? This looks like, I don't know about you, but I am like die for black and gold or like black and rose gold kind of person and this is like it's so appealing to me so I'm gonna keep it forever um so what I got at Anastasia like I said I only got like one or two things from everywhere that I went to except for Morphe um I did get the concealer which was what I was actually the only thing I really wanted from there um and the reason why I got this concealer was because I tend to use concealers to highlight uh, my brow bone and I like to use concealers that are kind of close to my complexion instead of using like um, a much lighter or like a shade lighter concealer so I went and got that and the one that I've been using I think is the Smashbox one that I always use in my videos um, so I went and got this one more because I wanted to use like a pod instead of like having to like squeeze it out of a tube so I was looking for something that was comfortable and like kind of convenient to do my um to shape my eyebrows and so I got this from Anastasia and this is in the shade 2.0 um, and so I'm pretty excited to try this out. I kind of I swatched it on my arm and it was like literally matching my complexion So I think this would be perfect um, And I can't wait to try this as well The little horsey on my bag is like holding on for dear life But the next place that I went to was to Violet Boss. Violet Boss had the prettiest bags Isn't this like so beautiful and so colorful? Like you can tell you can see Violet Boss from like down the whatever I was gonna say down block but whatever um because the bag was so bright like you can tell people went to Violet Boss when you saw them holding on to this bag I was like oh they went to Violet Boss um but it's just so beautiful and so uh, so colorful I just love it and the little horses is so cute I expected this to be from like Lime Crime or something but Violet Boss who knew and the only thing that I got from Violet Boss was the ooh, so the only thing that I got from Violet Boss was the Violet Boss Pro Palette. Um, this is in Mad About You. I was very conflicted between getting the Laura Lee one or getting this one. And I babe told me to get this one, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so I always tend to get palettes like that kind of like match a little bit more of the modern renaissance of Anastasia for the Hills. Because I tend to go to like more burgundy reddish shades. Um, and a little bit darker shades as well. Um, but she was like, hey babe, get this one all matte. And I was like, oh fine. So I got it and I'm kind of excited to try this out. I think I'm going to do a first impressions on this palette um, and it's pretty big like it's a pretty big palette and I think it has a lot of shades for its worth. Um, this retailed for $40 and originally it's $45 but I'm not mad about it. I am like really really excited to try this out. It's a lot of fall colors even though spring is here and summer is almost here but I will still be using this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry baby. I'll still use you. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm really really excited to try out this so I think in my first impressions video I'm gonna do like swatches and stuff like that um, So yeah, this is the palette that I got from my lip gloss <laughs> And then lastly the last place I went to was the one and only Morphe brushes um, Yeah, you can tell there's a couple of things in here not just one so the first thing that i got on morphe brushes were these three bags of makeup remover i don't need i don't i don't need three but i got three because i wanted them um and the reason why i got them were because they were three for ten dollars and i think they were kind of they were that was a pretty good deal simply because i always use the neutrogena ones and the neutrogena ones only come with like 20 or 25 i'm not sure um and these come with 30 so there's basically 90 sheets of makeup remover in here and I feel like that's gonna last me a lifetime to be honest because I don't wear makeup every single day of my life so I got 90 days worth of makeup remover like for $10 that's pretty great I don't know about you but that was pretty great and then this bag is just full of brushes I think I got like around 18 brushes not sure but I think it was around there um, and originally I just wanted to get one brush but I left with like 18 it's okay though um, no regrets though. It's okay. And the one that I really, really wanted to go... Don't look. 
So the one brush that I was really, really, really looking for was the M439 brush. And it was because... And it was because I was really, really needing a foundation brush. Uh, I hear a lot of people talking really good things about this one brush. And so I was really, really looking forward to getting this brush. Um, and I think this retailed for like 10 11 $12 around there. No more than 12 I believe that. Um, so I'm really excited that I got this brush. A lot of people say a lot of good things about it. And I was really needing a foundation brush. So I'm pretty excited that I got this one. So the next brush that I got was the Y12. Um, and I wanted this because I was looking for a brush that was like this one. So I can like chisel out my contour. I see a lot of people do that. And so I didn't really have a brush that was like this um, that would do that kind of thing that I wanted it to do um, and so I was pretty excited when I saw this one and also because it's gold and it's beautiful and I love gold um, so I got that one this is the Y12 and then I got a bunch of other brushes that I didn't really use. Yeah. And then I got a bunch of other brushes. So I saw a Nikki Tutorials rave about how much she uses this brush. And so I went and got it. This is the M143 brush. So the way that she uses this is to like contour her face. But she says that the way that she uses it um, is to contour. And apparently the product goes where you want it to when you use it to contour. So I've never really used the fan brush to contour. So I'm pretty excited to try that. Um, and I think this retails for like 6 bucks. So, and it's a pretty big brush like it's pretty big like so I want to see if it actually works with how she says it does um, so I'm excited to try that as well and then I got a bunch of other brushes so Oh, I, I got this one to highlight the face. This is the R31 brush. Um, this looks like a dupe for like um, the Anastasia highlight brush. I don't really know what number that is. I think it's like 21, 12, I don't know. Um, so she was um, her highlight brush. So I was really excited to try this one. When I saw it, I was like, ooh, that looks like that brush. And I want to try it. Um, so pretty excited to try this one out. This is also, like I said it already, um, the R31. Um, so the next brush that I wanted, I wanted a new fan brush because I only have uh, one and I kind of like destroyed it already for how many times I've used it. So I went and I got the Y13 brush. This is the one in the gold collection. Um, and I got a bunch of blending brushes. I, ooh. I got a bunch of blend eye blending brushes because you never need, you don't, you don't. You don't ever have too many blending brushes. Like that's you can't say that. That's not true. One can never have too many blending brushes. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I got four. Mm -hmm. I got four blending brushes. So the brushes that I got were the R39 brush, the R38, R40, and the M412 brush. Um, and these three are from the Rose Gold Collection, and this one is from. Um, Damn, I forgot which ones these are called, but I'm, I'm not sure, but yeah. So the next brushes that I got were, I got another highlighting brush. Well, yeah, I got another highlighting brush. I did. Um, and this is the Y14 brush. These, these, these one. This one is also from the gold collection. Um, and another one from the gold collection is the Y15. I think this is another blending brush. I don't know why I didn't put that with the other one that I got. Um, so this is another eye blending brush that I got. They're so soft. I can't wait to try them out. Um, and the next one that I got was a concealer brush. This is the M2224. I was really needing a new concealer brush because the other ones that I had were pretty old already. And so I can't wait to try this one as well. Um, and so I got this brush. I saw someone use it. I don't remember who it was. I think it was Desi Perkins. But I saw someone use this brush to like conceal, to um, like blend out her concealer. And I saw that it, it did a pretty well job. And so I wanted to try this one out. So this is the M130, 173 brush. Um, and it's like very fine at the tip. And like I would just use it to like pat in the concealer instead of using a, blend, a beauty blender. Um, so that's what I got that one for. Um, and then I also got two shadow brushes. 
So this is the R42 brush and this is the M421 brush. Um, these are just to like pack things onto the lid or to apply some shadow on the center of the lid. And so, oh, this one's really, really nice. Like it's so fine and tiny. I like the way that I hold this. It's so cool. Um, and so I got these two. And then I got one liner brush and this is the M160 brush. Um, yeah, and I was, I think I was needing an eyeliner brush or a brow brush. So I got a new one. So yeah, those are all the brushes that I got at Morphe Brushes. And I think that was it for everything that I got at IMAX. Um, I think it was pretty worth it. I think I got a lot of great things. Um, I'm so happy that I went, to be honest. Um, so thanks, babe, for the great tickets. Thanks. That was my birthday gift from me. And I really, really, really appreciated it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see my first impressions video, then keep a lookout on that for the Violet Floss palette. I will be posting that up next. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And don't forget to check out my IMATS vlog that I posted before this video. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.